Hi, I'm Sam Younger, and today I'm going to read a story from the book Unwrapping the Greatest Gift by Anne Boskamp. This scripture comes out of Luke chapter 2, verses 11 through 19. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth with whom God is pleased. The shepherds hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was a baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. Doesn't today seem different? Isn't the light all different? That's because the glory is rising. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to all the earth. God has left the glory of the galaxies and come down to save us, to love us, to rescue us, to free us. God is here. God is here. Jesus is born to you, to you. The glad tidings are to you, to you. It's like the sky is filling with a light that's different from the sun or the stars or anything on this world. It's like one star leans too close to the glory and majesty of God and blew up bright. The flame of it lit up the shepherds on the hills, and they blazed bright too, full of wonder. Those shepherds ran all the way to the manger, where even the fiery star seemed dim next to the brilliance of Jesus, the light of the world. All over the world, right now, a thousand thousand trees dance with light. All over the world, right now, a thousand thousand gifts are given. All over the world, right now, at the foot of every tree, we are all unwrapping love. Jesus the King, who made everything in this universe, gives you the sun to warm your skin and the moon to make a bright door in the sky. Jesus gives you the star to dance glory over you, and he gives you the whole sky of air for you to breathe in to fill your lungs with realist life. Everywhere, everywhere, there are gifts everywhere from Jesus. Gifts are our air. And when we sin, and when we fall and trip and aren't happy with what God gives, that's what sin is, thinking God isn't enough, Jesus never stops loving us. He comes and gives us himself. That's what Jesus is whispering to you this Christmas day. I'll take your broken heart and I'll give you my whole one. Isn't that the most amazing, greatest gift? You can always have as much of Jesus as you want. Your heart could burn hot with love like this. Our whole epic, grand story, right from the beginning, has been about him. And when people see that it's all about Jesus, this is what they whisper. Wasn't it like our hearts were on fire right inside of us? Can you see it? This day, this night, the light comes. Can you feel it? Your heart kindling, burning with the love for Jesus that's like a warm fire. Now the shepherds out in the hills of Bethlehem that night had angels to come to them, lighting their hearts on fire. But no one else heard angels. Everyone else only heard the news from the burning hearts of the shepherds. When your heart burns with love for Jesus, you're like a flaming match that lights up all other hearts with the news of Jesus. When you're just one of the raggedy manger stragglers who comes with nothing but your raggedy heart to Jesus, when you lean in close over Jesus in that manger and you see his blazing glory, when you come close to his white, hot love for you, how can you not scramble right out of the manger and right into the world with a heart glowing like hot embers of love for Jesus, telling everyone about the love of Jesus? 
A heart that really loves Jesus could catch the world on fire with love and more love and more love. It's true. Jesus came in the world for you. And it's really true. You came in the world for him to let everyone know about him. The whole world lingers long at Christmas trees tonight, not wanting Christmas to be over. All of us sit together longing for this wonder to go on, but somewhere, one Christmas candle flames bright in the quiet, and it will never, ever be dark again. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. God is with us, Jesus is with us, Jesus stays with us. The Christmas candle burns hot tonight, giving its brilliant light because Christmas goes on forever. Because we have Jesus with us, the greatest gift of unfailing, unbeatable, unstoppable love that we can keep unwrapping all our days. So here are some thoughts to discuss. What do you think it means that Jesus is the greatest gift? And how can you unwrap more of him this coming year? So as you discuss those with your family, here's an activity that you guys can do. Thank Jesus for being your greatest gift and pray that he will help you light this world on fire with his warming love.